My brother-in-law stopped by the house the uh, day before yesterday and uh, dropped off something for me. He was uh, doing a little cleanup. And it's some uh, transistor radios. So Matt, I hope you're watching 50s transistor radios. Uh, probably want your opinion on these if they have any value or not. You got a uh, little six uh, transistor continental. Seven transistor Kensington. A uh, Zenith all transistor. Looks like Zenette or something. It's not in bad shape. A little bit of rust here. It'd be interesting to open that up and uh, see what we've got. Something loose in this one. And a broken case there, a little Admiral. Solid state. And the one that he uh, wants back is this, uh, I mean, it's pronounced Sound Design Model uh, 4402. It was made in Hong Kong, but he wants me to see if I can get this going. I think he said he threw a battery in it and didn't get anything. I think that was the case for all of these that takes 9 volt batteries with the exception of the Zenith. So uh, we'll probably mess around with this one in just a minute and see what happens. And then uh, he just uh, was uh, cleaning up and uh, found some old uh, radio and TV tubes. So there's a 6K6, another 6K6. So these will come in handy. I'll use them for something. Another 6K6. So um, let's get a uh, battery in this uh, sound design. See if we can get any uh, noise or racket out of this thing. So looking at this uh, sound design, it's uh, not in great shape. Rusted up here in this area. And uh, looks like it's been roughed up here a little bit. Uh, somebody trying to access the uh, battery compartment. And I think this is one of those that it's actually tricky. It looks like you would insert something here, which somebody's probably done at some point in time, a coin or something, and tried to pop this open. But I think that's one of these that you just push down here in this area and it pops open, and it does. So it looks uh, fairly clean inside. Let me get it up here a little closer to the camera. I think it's your typical six transistor, right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, if I counted that correct. So a little six transistor radio. Okay, just check this battery. I think it's got a little life left on it here. Got it in, and uh, let's crank it up and see what we get. You might hear that on camera, I'm not certain. A little noise there. Uh, the tuner is stiff as can be. That's not good. Well, I sure don't hear anything from this distance. I've got a little small heater running in the background. It's still just another uh, cool day here. So, uh, Let me get the uh, audio generator hooked up and let's generate a audio tone here back to the uh, volume potentiometer. Okay, I've got the uh, audio signal generator hooked up and let me just check the amplitude here. And I'm going to generate a signal right around 600 hertz or so, a sine wave. And let's see, that's off position. I'm going to start here on the uh, high side of the potentiometer and I think that's going to be this side here. And that's a good sign. You can probably hear that over my uh, heater. Let's turn the volume up again. I'm on the high side of the uh, potentiometer. And let's just make sure There's the uh, taper itself, and of course the other side's the ground. 
So the audio section uh, seems to be uh, working okay, so most likely uh, the problem is in the uh, RF section. Okay, I have my RF signal uh, generator hooked up. I'm modulating a tone, and we're at the IF frequency of the radio. I don't have a, a schematic, but um, this area right up in here should be the RF section. So um, by using this small loop, as I get near the uh, that particular part of the circuit or transistor, we should hear if the oscillator is working and the RF section is working, we should uh, hear something. So again, this, uh, you can tell, is the audio section. Uh, probably three transistors associated with the uh, audio section and the other three, looks like two being IF, RF, and then uh, maybe the uh, converter itself. So I'm probably not going to get anything in this area, and we don't. Nothing here. And we start to get something here in this area. And I'm probably blocking that from view, but as I get near this transistor right here, I'm picking up the uh, 455 uh, kilohertz IF frequency, so that's a good sign. Okay, I have the RF generator realigned now to uh, 1 megahertz, and uh, just tuning around here, and uh, occasionally I'll get something. But um, let me show you what I discovered. Again, I'm just using this as a, a pickup coil or a little transmitter. But uh, I'll just use this as a probe. When I touch this transistor, so let's pop this thing out and take a look and see if we just have a simple open solder trace here on the back side. Again, we haven't recapped this, and um, would um, expect the uh, capacitors to be problematic as well, but um, you can tell by the troubleshooting we've been doing, the problem uh, resides in the RF section. And let me uh, flip it over here, and uh, we'll get it out of the uh, case and take a look. Looks like we've got uh, two small screws. All right, let me bend these ears back. Looks like this one's already broke on this side. And uh, get to the back side here, the uh, circuit board. Part of the circuit that's in question again is uh, right around this uh, IF or RF uh, transistor here. And uh, touching it again, looks like it's bringing some life back into the uh, radio. All right, if uh, Matt's watching uh, 50s uh, transistor radios, he's probably laughing at me because this is not my area of expertise. Anyway, this thing just popped off in my hands, so uh, hopefully to go back on, let me get this one uh, set screw off here for the uh, tuner, and uh, we'll be right back. So uh, taking a look here at the underneath side, if this is showing up on camera, See if I can get this uh, loop antenna wires out of the way. Looks like somebody's done some work in here before. Push them back this way. So um, here's the area of concern. It looks like uh, the solder joints uh, right in this area. So uh, let me get my uh, magnifiers on so I can see the uh, circuit board a little bit better and uh, maybe I can do a close-up shot as well if I uh, discover the root cause here. 
All right, I think uh, best I can tell, and hopefully this is showing up on camera, the bad solder joint or trace resides right here at this point. I think you can actually see the movement possibly if my uh, camera is positioned correctly. So uh, let me get some alcohol out, clean the circuit board up real good in this area, get my uh, soldering iron turned on and tinned, and uh, just apply a little solder there, maybe a little bit of flux, and then re-clean it, and uh, let's see what we get. So again, I don't know if that trace is actually broke or not. We'll have to look at it just a little closer. That's a good sign. Let's, uh, let me flip this thing over. The uh, volume control tell me to spray it out, except it's got a lot of uh, static and stuff in it there. I think that uh, variable potentiometer just needs to be cleaned up a little bit with some contact cleaner. Let me uh, just probe around. Sorry about that, I hit the camera again. Yeah, I think it was just that solder joint itself right there. Again, I cleaned it real good with some uh, alcohol. And I did end up having to put a little bit of flux there to make it uh, flow. And then uh, cleaned it back off with um, alcohol. I'm going to go back and just, uh, sorry about that, keep hitting the uh, camera over my head. Uh, clean the rest of the circuit board up and do some more... Uh, probably some touch up on some of these other solder joints that looked uh, suspect. Let me flip this over again and put a little pressure here on the transistor just to make certain that it's uh, stable now. Okay again this was the uh, problematic area and you can see when I'm tapping now here on the uh, transistor everything's in uh, great shape. So again, this is not a uh, restore, it was more just a repair. I'll probably, uh, I'll check and see if I've got these uh, electrolytic caps um, here and here in stock. And if I've got them in uh, one of my junk drawers and they're in better shape than uh, what's in the circuit, I'll go ahead and replace those. But uh, he just wanted the thing uh, working and I think he's going to clean it up himself. So uh, let me... Uh, see what I can do here with this volume control just a bit, clean it up and uh, get this thing back assembled and uh, we'll do a final test on it. Okay, got her going and uh, it was a quick uh, little repair there due to a uh, cold solder joint. So I'm not going to recap. Uh, the radio, I just checked my uh, junk drawer. I don't usually repair or work on uh, transistor radios, so I didn't have any uh, capacitors of the uh, correct value. Uh, good thing is, he's uh, 15 minutes away from me, so if this thing uh, fails again, I'll go in and uh, do some recapping. So appreciate you guys uh, watching this quick uh, repair on this little uh, sound design 6 transistor radio.